and to thwart the Chinese government's attempts to twist the truth, to censor and to silence within China. But we also need to be vigilant about the Chinese government's attempts to censor and silence elsewhere, including in our own nation. In the United States, the Chinese government attempts to spread pop propaganda by two ways, by leveraging their enormous market access to coerce Americans into self-censorship, especially to Hollywood and sports teams who stand to make billions of dollars in China, and by simply purchasing access to our cultural and educational centers. With both levers, Chinese officials have one objective, to shape what Americans see, hear, and ultimately think. China has the world's second largest film market, second only to the United States, and it does around $8 billion in box office revenues per year. The Chinese film market is comprised of Chinese films, but they also make sure to allow a few dozen American films into their market every year. The number is deliberately kept low, and and in exchange for access, American film companies submit their films to China's censors, who often force them to change those films. American companies have learned this fact, and they'll often change the films even in advance of submitting. As a result, they control not just what audiences see in China, but also what Americans see. The Chinese government censorship office seeks to edit anything to do with Tibet, with Taiwan, with Tiananmen Square, with human rights, with democracy, with religion, or with any criticism of communism, particularly the Chinese Communist Party. Recently, the Chinese government has succeeded in forcing changes to movies such as Top Gun, the sequel, such as Doctor Strange, such as Skyfall, such as the remake of Red Dawn, Pixels, Looper, Bohemian Rhapsody, all are movies that were changed. In Bohemian Rhapsody, the Chinese Communist Party edited out references to the fact that Freddie Mercury was gay. In Doctor Strange, they changed the Ancient One's character from Tibetan as portrayed in the comic book, to Celtic. And in the Top Gun sequel that's set to come out later this year, the Taiwanese and Japanese flags on the back of Maverick's jacket were removed to appease the Chinese Communist Party. Think about that for a second. What message does it send that Maverick, an American icon, is apparently afraid of the Chinese Communists? That's ridiculous. That's why today I'm introducing the Script Act, which would cut off Hollywood studios from the assistance they receive from the U.S. government if those studios censor their films for screening in China. It's common practice for major Hollywood films to contract with the Pentagon to use jets and tanks and to film on bases and aircraft carriers. The Script Act should be a wake-up call for Hollywood. Studios would be forced to choose between the assistance from the federal government or the money that they want from China.